We're looking for our friend. Previously on Red Ruby. Her name's Ruby, black hair, fiery eyes. You okay? I think the only family I have left are the others. The others? I was trapped under those caves for three days, Theo. Please just do me this one favor and stay away from that place. You and your dumb family think that you're perfect, but one of these days, you're gonna get what's coming for you. Annabelle, if you can hear us, please come home. Maybe over here? Careful, children. There are foul creatures around these parts. Nancy, it looks like Lieutenant Burston's mislabeled his citations again. Nancy? Whoa, 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 slow down a minute. What's going on? Good morning to you too, Dennis. This fax just came in. You need to see this. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't you worry, Junior. If there was any justice in this world, I'd be asleep right now. <laughs> Two shots over creep. You got it. You know, come to think of it, let's make it three. Why don't you go ahead and sit down? Uh, I'll bring it on over to you. Oh, thanks. Here we go, nice and hot. Sometimes I don't know when the day starts and when it ends. Uh, that is true. What's that on your neck? Oh, uh, well, spider bites, I guess. I noticed it the other day when I woke up from the floor. I don't remember falling. Maybe I fainted. Fainted? You should probably stop by the hospital and get that checked out. No, no, I don't need to spend a bunch of money so you guys can tell me I'm getting old. Either way, must be some nasty bugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I meant to tell you, a girl came in here the other day and started talking about your house. My house? Yeah, up on Fenimore, a girl about Theo's age. So what do you think? My son's got a new girlfriend? <laughs> well, maybe. She seemed confused, fish out of water like. Hmm. What'd she look like? Well, she had dark hair, floral dress, and those uh, combat style boots and uh, strange red eyes. Or maybe it was just my mind playing tricks on me. What is it? No, it's nothing. People don't come back from the dead. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Uh, Listen, Miss Barnes, the next time you wake up early, let yourself in. You're giving me the keys to the place? Well, cold mornings like this, I feel bad making you wait. And if I'm on the floor passed out, well, at least I have a nurse around to help me out. <laughs> okay, thanks, Junior. I'll keep an eye on the place and on you. Well, I guess you should get back to work. I'll hope to see you again. You too. Thanks, Junior. Make the Great Barrier Reef grow again. It's pretty good, right? It's interesting. Hey, remember, Climate Club, 4.30. You coming? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I'll try. But uh, if I don't get at least a B plus in this history test, man, my mom is literally gonna ground me for the rest of my life. So. She's still not over our biking incident. It's not that. She's um, she's mad about 
back. We went to the caves. Oh. How's your head doing? I mean, it's fine. Hey, you really didn't see anything? No. You know, you're just biking next to me, and the next thing I know, you're, you're on the ground. Yeah. Uh, I well, I believe the evil Frexicon Corporation for this and all things. <laughs> Why not tell Mr. Vanderhoek about the note? Because if I tell Kirk, he's going straight to the TV stations, and the last thing I need is feds breathing down my neck. If he finds out. Well, he's gonna find out, Dennis, is if you open your big mouth. Could I get a uh, 141? You got it. Who's behind the letter, you think? If I knew that. Wouldn't have wasted a day going door to door. And there's a lot of folks in town, they don't like the drilling. Plenty of them got grasped with Kirk Vanderhoek. Yeah, well, my hunch, it's not a concerned neighbor we're after. Then who is it? Best guess, Annabelle Vanderhoek. What? The girl herself? You start mucking up the environment, who do you really hurt? The next generation. So my bet is that Annabelle doesn't look kindly on our old man's business. So she's faking her own kidnapping, that's some heavy stuff. Isn't that a bit of a stretch? I don't know, maybe. You know that old house at the end of Hazel Drive, right over the hill from Ruddy Creek? Yeah, of course. That old woman, Claudia, she's always got her nose in the town's business, for better or for worse. Yeah, I mean, that place never sat right with me. But if I was Kirk Van Hook's daughter, I'd book a penthouse suite at the Hotel DuPont. Right, but what did they teach you at the academy? Leave no stone unturned. What's in the bag? <laughs> Look what the cat dragged in. I heard you have something I'm looking for. You had it so easy. We served it up for you on a silver platter. Well, you kept us trapped underground. You got a problem with that? Take it up with the big lady. She's not home. I know that, and so do you. If you were so sure, you would have done something by now. Why don't you come on in? I'm sure Claudia could find it in her heart to forgive you. Give me the blood. <laughs> You're too weak to do anything. <laughs> Officers, what can I help you with? The process of drilling for fossil fuels is both expensive and dangerous. Once the pump reaches the layer of natural gas, fluid is pumped down until it reaches the source. Now this might sound safe, but it's not. Fracking can damage our underground water. Is this the climate club? Depends who's asking. Are you two environmental thinkers or are you just here for college credit? <laughs> We're just two concerned citizens. Worried, sick about what's happening over at Ruddy Creek. Oh, well, you're in the right place. What's your names? I'm Amber, and this is... Her dear friend, Ian. It's a pleasure. I haven't seen you guys around. Are you new here? All that's old is new again. So, yes? Let's just say we transferred recently. Right on. Well, you're in the right place. <laughs> Nosebleed? What a pity. Say, Flora. Do you think we could see you outside for a moment? About what? Well, with everything going on in the world. We just want to make sure you stay safe. Sit down, Theo. Is everything all right? The school called about your test. Look, it's just a C plus, Mom. Okay, I didn't fail or anything. It's not just that, Theo. You still haven't told me why you went back to Ruddy Creek. You defied me. 
I don't know why it's such a big deal. It's just a bunch of holes in the dirt. You don't understand, Theo. That place is dangerous. Mom, I promise I won't get hurt, okay? No one tries to get hurt. But we still do sometimes. Mom, what happened to you down there? Okay, tell me. I, I want to know, really. It was my junior year. We were on a class trip at Ruddy Creek, exploring the underground caves. They told us to stay close together, but Ian, Ruby, Maisie, and Malcolm and I wandered deeper into the caves. But we should have listened to Ruby. So, uh, this Ian guy, he was your boyfriend? Believe it or not, Theo, I was something of a hot commodity. Okay, I don't... You can leave that out. That's kind of gross. Luckily, I always had a good friend by my side. Ruby didn't understand what I saw in Ian. Maybe let's go. And Ian dragging us into those caves was exactly the kind of thing that Ruby was afraid of. Hello? Mom? Mom. Earth to Mom. Oh, uh... I just got a little caught up. Where was I? You were talking about how Ian led you down the wrong way. The long and the short of it is, we took a wrong turn. And 30 minutes later, we were officially lost. This is all your fault, Ian. Shut up, Ruby. You're not helping any. Don't tell her to shut up. Whose side are you on anyway? Whoever can get us out of here. But then, the sight of a couple of familiar faces made it seem like we might be OK. Maisie, her twin brother Malcolm, and Amber had been ahead of us when we went into the cave. They were on their way to the exit when they heard us calling. They came to our rescue, or they thought they had. We were walking and walking. It seemed like forever. I stopped for a minute to tie my shoe. And that's when it happened. The walls came down around us. for three days, starving and scared. I was so weak, I thought I would die. It had been days. Malcolm had been very badly hurt, and we were running out of food. I was cut off from the rest of the group, only able to see them through a small opening. They'll come for us, Ian. I know they will. I was right, in a way. Somebody came but not for all of us. Ruby, is that you? Ruby? And then she arrived. Breathe easy, child. You're safe now. Officers, I'm just unloading. Uh, well, we just wanted to know if you've seen this person. Sorry, I haven't. What's that you got there? Just breakfast. Is that blood? Oh, yeah. You know, I work over at the hospital. When the fridge overflows, I got a spare one out back. Is that right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> lack of government funding. I'll tell you what. You have a good day. Yeah, you too. I cannot believe Coach put Dobbins <laughs> at shortstop. The, the kid can't even see straight. Yeah. Are you all right, Charlie? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll see you later.
feeling so hot. Next on Red Ruby. What is it, Mike? Is there news? There's something you should know. Shut up, where's Flora? Ah! Ah! 